Hey, butterflies, it's your girl, Pam. Um, I'm coming to you today. Today is day six of my first infusion last week. Um, today is the 9th of February. And um, I feel pretty good. Thank God. I feel pretty good. Um, I wanted to kind of share with you guys what I have you know, experienced in my first infusion, um, with chemotherapy. Um, so to kind of give you an overview, I had taped just about every day, but I just realized that this was going to be a very, very long video if I added everything in here, right? So what I'll do is trying to try to give you just a little bit of snippets, um, of each day. Um, and probably a couple of days I may not have even filmed because I wasn't like feeling bad or anything. So I don't know, maybe I just, um, didn't remember. I don't know, but, um, the, the bulk of it, I want to make sure that I share with you guys. So, um, I went, my first infusion was on February 4th. Fourth, it was a Friday. Um, my intent was to come home afterwards, and I had um, one of the twins drive me, and she picked me up, um, Kiki. So because I didn't know how, you know, my body was going to respond, I didn't know if I was going to be drowsy or you know whatever. So I just wanted to kind of make sure. Um, but I felt, you know, very confident that I can drive myself back and forth. Um, one, because I don't want to be a burden to anybody, but, um, two, you know, it's, it's no sense that people, you know, having to, to drive me back and forth. So I'm, I'm fine with driving. Um, and they give me Benadryl early enough in the process that, you know, that kind of wears off by the time it's time for me to go. Um, so I, um, went, I had, um, my access to my port the first time and I'll, i'm gonna put out a little small um separate video for that um so i had that and then let's see what else they drew blood from there and they actually went on and um um gave me the chemo through that port so um the really I, I promise you that was the way to go. That was the way to go. So um, I was very happy that it didn't, you know, hurt or anything. I got some other um, tips from the nurse, but, um, and I'll share those with you. Um, okay. So I arrived at 1030. They didn't pull me back until about 10... 20, 10, 50. And I was leaving out of there about three. So I have three chemo drugs and I have, um, yeah, three chemo drugs. My kids are going to be loud. So just, <laughs> just know that I tried to wait, but it didn't work. Um, so three chemo drugs and then my pre-meds. So, um, and I'll stick those <laughs> on the yeah it's too much i know tax tax all is one of them but the other stuff y'all i i'll write them on the screen i don't know what t <laughs> so i'm just learning this stuff so i'm gonna go through each day when i got home um when i left felt good um nurses impeccable um and we went to chick-fil-a got something to eat we were good um, came on home and my intent was to go ahead and make sure that I rested on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, just listen to my body and rest. Um, and that's what I did. That's what I did. So the first day, um, after, which was, um, Friday after, I'm just reading my notes cause I wrote it down so I could just show the, the doctor and you know, when she does the check-in. Um, so I felt good, no symptoms except for a slight headache, but not enough to take medicine. Um, 
but just enough to get on my nerves. <laughs> so that was that. Um, I made sure on my, um, I put ginger root in my smoothie that morning. I had a fruit smoothie, um, with some avocado and stuff. Um, and then I drank ginger tea root on the way home. It was lemon and ginger tea. And then I added some additional ginger root. So, um, I drank that on the way home and I drank that three days, excuse me, three times, um, each day, um, up until now, probably till once a day, just, I don't know. I think like just to make sure, <laughs> but I really haven't had any nausea. Um, let's see. Lots and lots of water. Um, and I had just a slight sniffle, um, but it was just about as fast as it came. It was gone. All right. So day two, that was Saturday. Um, slight symptoms that I thought the nausea was going to creep up, but I went on and started with the ginger tea, ginger and lemon tea with the ginger root and, um, I didn't feel anything else. Um, I did have some leg pain. Once again, not enough for me to take medicine, but just enough to get on my nerves. Um, day three, um, slight runny nose, but that was about it. And that was the day that everybody was like, oh my gosh, you know, day three is just horrible. But thank God I didn't have that. Um, day four, I had some leg pain, uh, forearm pain, more on the left arm. Not quite sure what that was about. Um, lower abdomen pain, lower back pain. Um, I did go walking for about 20 minutes that day with one of my friends and um but that night <laughs> oh god that night oh my god y'all I, I, I oh, okay let me tell y'all they talk about a lot of stuff they give you a lot a lot of information and you're like on overdrive they talk about nausea they talk about vomiting they talk about um, diarrhea. They talk about um, uh, hair loss. They talk about all this stuff. Now, I'm not going to say that they did not touch on joint pain, but it was not at the forefront, right? And so while I'm trying to look for these other side effects, this joint pain came and tried to take mama out. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. My legs hurt so bad. Now, that was Sunday that they started hurting. Still not enough for me to take medicine. But Monday, Monday night. Yes, Lord, Monday night. I tossed and I turned. It felt like daggers, like little daggers just kept going up and down my leg. And then it started climbing up my uh, lower abdomen. And then it started in my lower back. And I was like, Father. And so I'm trying to look through my information because you don't want to take something. I mean, literally, they basically pulled me off all of my over-the-counter medicine. So I didn't want to take anything that I wasn't supposed to take. But I was like, Lord, I need to go to sleep. I got to get up and go to work. So at four o'clock, I said, bump it. Now, let me tell y'all. Mama will take melatonin, okay? I take melatonin just about every night. And if I don't go to sleep with melatonin, then ain't nothing getting ready to make me go to sleep. So the pain was now outdoing the melatonin. Oh my gosh. So finally, I was just like, I don't know what else to do. At four o'clock in the morning, I decided that I was going to take one um, Tylenol PM and then one Tylenol regular, right? Just to try to get some rest before it was time to go to work. Um, yeah, let up for about 15, 20 minutes and went right back. So I got absolutely no sleep. I finally, you know how like you, you know, you're not like in a good sleep, but you're trying to do the best you can do. That's where I was. So I called the doctor's office. They had me talk to the triage nurse and she checked with the doctor. Now, 
um, before all of this, excuse me, began, um, they had told me not to take a leave and ibuprofen and all of that. This was my PCP, right? And so something was going on that it was messing with my blood work. So they told me not to take it anymore. This is before breast cancer, all of this. So I could only take Tylenol, which is what I took, you know, early that morning. Um, and so she comes back and she says, hey, I just checked with the doctor. Your doctor is not here, but your um, your oncologist is not here. But I checked with the other one and he said to go ahead and take some a leave every six hours, anywhere from six to eight hundred milligrams. And so I told her, I said, you know, my PCP said that I wasn't supposed to take it. Um, so she said, well, let me, you know go ahead and she looked at my labs and then she was like well let me go and tell him so he came back she came back and she was like well he said that to get you from today right to friday when i go back and do my second um second round or second cycle second round i don't know what the difference the cycle the rounds my second treatment okay um until if we can just get you to Friday so Dr. Tran can be able to talk to you and, and figure out what they need to do. I said, okay. So I don't have their leave. I have a leave, but I don't have a leave <clears throat> in front of me. So I'm remembering every six hours um, between six and 800 milligrams. Well, when I pull up my, get my bottle, I'm off the phone with her at this point. Each pill is like 220, so I don't want to take more than 800 milligrams. So guess what? Then I only take three. And then she said every six hours. Guess what? It said don't take more than three pills in 24 hours. I was like, are you kidding me? So it did relieve the pain. Their thing was is that they wanted to try to use something over the counter before they called in a prescription. I'm totally for that. That's fine. Um, but I think I'm gonna have them, uh, yeah, drop mama something just in case. <laughs> yeah, have that prescription over to the side. I don't want to, I think it's trap it all. Um, I don't want to take it unless it's absolutely necessary, but yeah, mama don't want to be caught like that no more. <laughs> I don't want to be caught like that no more. So, um, what I've been doing is at midnight or right before I go to bed, I just go ahead and take three pills and I only do it once a day. And I really haven't had a whole lot of, it still hurts, but not like it had been. Um, that's it y'all. My appetite hasn't changed. Um, I haven't lost my taste buds or anything people were talking about. Um, I never tasted metal. Um, never, What's the other thing they oh when they flushed my port I never tasted the saline so I haven't had any of those things um thank God like I said I've been I've been praying and it's been a lot of people praying for me so I know that you know I'm literally sitting in the palm of his hand so um but anyway I just wanted to kind of give you guys an update um I don't think between now and tomorrow, which is Thursday, anything is going to, you know, really change. So I'll probably end it here, but I just wanted to kind of give y'all a first week overview. Um, you know, nobody wants to do chemo. Nobody wants to have cancer, but, um, this first week, you know, um, you know, thank God it was, it was, not as bad um, as it could have been. So we'll count our blessings. We'll stay as positive as we can. We're going to go in there on um, Friday, honey, with my little uh, jewelry on, my little cute outfit. <laughs> and I'm going to, you know, make sure that I, I'm i not. And don't get me wrong. I don't want to, I don't want to bash anybody. That's not my intent. Y'all know me better than that. But. I do feel that your mindset, and it's hard. If y'all see my other video, it's hard. You have those days, but I'm just not, I just refuse to stay there. 
So I have to get myself back into a positive realm that, you know, I'm so I can get through this. Um, I, do I expect the rest of this time to go like this first week? I, I don't, but I pray that it does. That's all I can give you. I pray that it does, but I don't want to be so naive to just think that, you know, as your body's, um, as your body breaks down, that it's not going to be affected because it is, you know. So anyway, um, if you guys have any encouraging words, please leave them down below. I love reading them. I love to respond um, and connect with you guys. Um, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell. If you know of anybody that um, this video would be useful for, please share with them and make sure you give it a thumbs up. So until next time, butterflies, love you.